What's up agents and welcome back to another division video. It's finally happened. Year 5 season 2 PTS patch notes have finally just been uploaded to the Trello, meaning that it is coming very soon. So soon in fact, Friday the 8th of September. If you're on PC, you're going to be able to play it. Just before we deep dive into these patch notes, because they are awesome, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Come on over to Twitch, twitch.tv slash DJ Tickle. I really could do with your help with some views over there as well. And if you need a community Discord, join mine down below in the description. That's where you will find the link. And with all that said, let's get started. So you can see here, uh, the size without the PTS build on Connect is 75 gig. And if you've already got the PTS, you're going to be updating just 7.8 gig. It starts on Friday, the September the 8th. It's 11 a.m. CEST, 5 a.m. EDT and 2 a.m. PDT. And it's running through till Monday as normal until 2 p.m. CEST, 8 a.m. EDT and 5 a.m. PDT. Starts off straight away with Descent. They buffed the Descent rewards across all loops for level 40 players. It doesn't say what to, so it'll be interesting to see that. They've increased the chance to receive the reconstructed and exotic cash from defeating the nemesis from 12% to 50%. That's a little bit weird because the exotic cash is 100%. You get one every time, but it's definitely a welcome change to the reconstructed cash. 50%, maybe that's a little bit high. It's 12% at the moment. What do you guys think? Is it going to take the grind away from Descent? There's no shot for us to spend credits on. Is it just going to eventually kill the mode? Interesting to see what you think in the comments down below. But they've also added some new talents, and there's quite a lot there. Utility, they've added Future Perfect, In Sync, Perpetuation, Ignited, Salvage, Shock and Awe, and Overclock. For Offensive, Intimidate, Rifleman, Overwhelm, and Pummel. Exotic, Kinetic Momentum, and Empathic Resolve. Buffing the skill builds, for sure. And Defensive, Efficient. Now, that's going to be interesting. It's going to bring a lot more build diversity, but it's also going to make some talents harder to get. Especially in the exotic pool, Bullet Hell, Plague of Outcasts are all favourites. It's going to make them a little bit harder to get because we've got two more that are going to be in that pool. I am sad to see though that there is not going to be a shop. I would have loved them to add a shop for us to spend the credits on. Even if it is just for regular and exotic caches. I think that would have been a great addition. Hopefully that will come soon. Then we've got a brand new gear set. The Lengmore brand set. Uh, it's got 20% explosive resistance, 10% skill health, and 15% LMG damage. A bit of a strange combination. We've got a named chest, and now all of a sudden it makes a little bit more sense. Explosive resistance, but then it's being paired with Mad Bomber. Increased grenade radius by 75%, I guess. Grenades that kill an enemy are refunded. Grenades can now be cooked by holding the fire button, making them explode earlier. Allows to gain 15% bonus armor while aiming and throwing out a grenade. I mean, I'm not too hyped for that, but I guess more builds and more builds. Uh, but then it's adding also the named backpack, the Backbone, and that's going to be perfectly Unstoppable Force. I've always said Unstoppable Force needs a bit of a buff, so maybe the perfect version will be the way to go. Killing an enemy increases total weapon damage for 5% for 15 seconds. It can stack up to 7 times, which is pretty decent. But And grenade kills add 2 stacks. So it's still be interesting to see how that plays out. I'm not sure it's still going to be as good as Vigilance, perhaps. You've got to build this up by killing people. And if you're in a group, it's going to take away from things as well. Next up, we've got the Ortiz gear set. Uh, Two-piece gives burn duration and skill health. Three piece, 40% burn damage. Four piece, it unlocks a new unique tal turret talent. This sounds great. So we get the Ortiz Incinerator Turret Prototype. The turret now spin 360 degrees. You are immune to your own Incinerator Turret's fire. That's great, otherwise you'd be setting yourself on fire all the time. The Incinerator Turret explodes when it's disabled. That sounds phenomenal. That sounds really good. I really can't wait to get my hands on that. The chest and backpack talent. We've got enemies set ablaze by the the new turret type. Ignites other enemies within two meters, spreading it. That's really nice as well. 
Uh, and then we get the heat stroke talent on the backpack 25% weapon damage to enemies set on fire by it and it increases the range by another 25% holy moly this sounds really good I've been digging out my pyromaniac again this sounds great I like the sounds of that can't wait to get all of that we then got an exotic chest piece uh, called the collector which has a talent called hoarder Extra three grenades, 50% grenade radius, 35% grenade damage. We've then got 25% grenade. Oh, 25% grenade. That's got to be grenade damage, right? For every enemy caught in the blast. Unsure. I guess we will see. And then we automatically gener regenerate grenades every 60 seconds up to two grenades. Again, a bit of a weird description. Does that mean if we've got over two, we don't regenerate? I don't know. Sounds a bit odd. I guess we'll see on Friday. New weapons and talents. We've got the Iron Lung Exotic LMG with the talent Ardent. Shooting heats the weapon up, filling the heat meter. The meter is the equivalent to 50% of the weapon's standard magazine size. When the meter is full, round shot by the weapon will ignite enemies. This is an LMG version with fire of the St. Elmo, basically. Uh, when not shooting, the meter constantly depletes. Reloading or swapping to another weapon depletes the meter. So a little bit different, a little bit more of a twist. I wonder how easy it is and what the mag size is. But yeah, sounds cool. Looks like this is going to be a flavor of uh, guns that we're going to get throughout the patch. We've had electric and now we've got fire. Maybe disorientate next. I guess we will see. There's then going to be the Orboros Exotic SMG, the talent to rule them all. It does say at the bottom here, please note this exotic is exclusive to the new incursion. So this is going to be the main incursion reward. Uh, it's not part of the seasonal reward track. When the agent has a status effect applied to them, 50% of the ammo in the next magazine will apply the same status effects to the targets. This will only occur during combat. Ah, I think that could be better. Considering this is a reward for what should be a hard piece of content. That talent seems a little bit like meh. But let's see. We're, you know, we'll, we'll test it out and, and judge it. You've got to be in hit by status effects. So I'm just trying to think what content we've got where there's a lot of status effects to make use of that. Maybe there's something coming. Who knows? I guess we will see. Uh, and then we've got name weapons and talents. Stabilize is a new one for weapon talent. 1% weapon accuracy and 1% weapon stability per bullet shot up to 60%. Stopping shooting will start a timer of 2 seconds after which the bonuses will reset. Seems harsh 2 seconds but I guess we'll see. Uh, then we've got the crone great named Tommy Gun. Of all, again an odd selection there with perfect stabilize. It shoots up to 75% instead and gives you 4 seconds. I, I guess we'll see. I mean, I think maybe 4 seconds and 6 may be better for that, but I guess we'll see. And then we've got the Born Grey named Military G36 getting some love with Perfect Stabilize as well. That could be good. I guess we'll see. Balancing and Rework. Tip of the Spear is getting changed. Oh, I love Tip of the Spear. Uh, two pieces gives 20% signature weapon damage. Three pieces gives 10% weapon damage. Fur, fur. Four pieces equips the aggressive recon talent, which looks like it's been changed. Getting a signature weapon kill gives 15% signature weapon damage for five seconds and 25% reload speed for the next reload of the weapon. The bonuses don't stack. Automatically regenerate signature weapon ammo every 60 seconds. That sounds like it could be really, really powerful. And it's like, at the moment, Tip of the Spear is only really good for the TAC-50. This sounds like it's being more made to work for all of the signature weapons that we've got. As it says here, previously, dealing damage with a signature weapon increases total weapon damage by 20% for 60 seconds. So, yeah, we're kind of trading 5% off for 25% reload speed and the automatically regenerate which we do that anyway so we're losing five percent damage for 25 percent reload speed hmm. we'll see we'll have to test that out as well 
And then we've got the chest bonus, 50% weapon damage for 15 seconds after fully depleting the signature weapon ammo. Doubles the amount generated by aggressive recon. Oh, right. Okay, so we're gaining damage here, though. So previously, the damage only went up to 20%. Now it's going up to 50. So we're gaining some damage back there. And then the backpack bonus. Increase the aggressive recon signature weapon damage bonus from 15 to 30. Every third signature weapon kill generates signature weapon ammo ah okay so it's encouraging you to use it rather than just sit on it and let it auto generate over time and again we've got a, a damage increase here it was 20 previously and it goes up to 30 so we although we're losing a bit at the top we are gaining with the two if you use both of the backpack and the chest piece Quality of life changes. We can now buy exotic caches from the DZ vendors. I wonder how much credits they'll be. They've reduced the Stinger Hive's range in PvP. That's great. And there's some issues there as well uh, to do with the new LMG. They're not available at the vendors. The turrets sometimes may burn. Reapply the burn state's effect. That's fine. So hopefully they'll get these fixed before the actual patch comes out. Some icon differences and the PTS cache doesn't have umbering, which is not a big deal. So yeah, uh, very, very, very interesting patch. I guess we will see. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. And don't forget to check back to the channel for full updates on this PTS. I'll be covering absolutely everything in it. Come over to Twitch as well, especially if you need raid help or exotics and things like that. We'll give you a lift. Thank you for watching, Agents. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.